Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mission. Our subject for today is about science for P2 or Proton. First, I will discuss to you the life cycle of hyacinth bean. This is an example of hyacinth bean. First, the fertilized flowers grow fruits with seeds inside and it is ready to be planted when its color turned to color brown, from color green to color brown, and then after a few weeks or a few months after planting the seeds, it will grow. This is what we call the sapling or seedling. The sapling has roots, stem, and leaves. These leaves are small. After a few months, the hyacinth bean grows flowers when old enough. This is the flower of the hyacinth bean. And then it continues its cycle from seed, sapling, have flowers, and then have seeds again. So that is the cycle of the hyacinth bean. This time, we have different kinds of flowers. We can see many kinds of flowers in our surroundings. For example, when you are walking outside, you can see different flowers. First, we have the calla lilies. Calla lilies are like bell shape. It has different colors. For example, we have color yellow, and color white. We also have the color violet. These are calla lilies. Aside from calla lilies, we also have daisies. Daisies have also different colors like yellow, purple, white, and many more. Another flower is the gardenia. Gardenia have also different colors. Next are orchids. Orchids are the flowering plants that can live on trees. We also have roses. Roses are color red. Its stem have also thorns. So avoid touching the roses stem because it can hurt your hands. Another flower is the sunflower. We all know that the sunflower is color yellow. And when it grows old, it will have seeds. The seeds of the sunflower can be eaten. Or some people eat the seeds of the sunflower. Next flower are the tulips. These are the examples of tulips. It has also different colors. We also have the water lettuce. Water lettuce have also flowers. They live in the water. What do you think is the name of this flower? It has different colors. It is beautiful to see. This is the hibiscus flowers. There are four important parts of the flower. First, we have the stamens. Number two are the pistils. Number three, sepals. And number four, petals. Again, the four important parts of a flower are the stamens, pistils, sepals, and petals. First, here's the stamens. These are the stamens of the flower or the hibiscus flower stamens. It make male sex cells. When you say male for the boys, male or boy. It is long and next to petals. 
Its color are yellow for the hibiscus flower. So these are the stamens of hibiscus flower. Next part of the flower, or for the lilies, these are their stamen. Its color is brown. For the eggplant, it is color yellow. Another part of the flower are pistils. These are the pistils of the hibiscus flower. It makes female or girl sex cells. For the stamen, for the male, for the pistils, it is female sex cells. It is deepest part of a flower because it's like a hole. Its color is color pink. So this is the pistil of hibiscus. For the lily, what is the color? This is the pistil of the lily, color yellow. How about for the eggplant? It is color yellow or color white. The third part of the flower are the sepals. Where do you think are the sepals? Okay, so these are the sepals of the flower. It is the outer part of the flower. It covers and protects the flower from insects. For example, from ladybugs. Its color are color green. So this is the sepals of the flower. Another part of the flower are the petals. These are the petals of the flower. They draw insects using its smell. Because some flowers smells good or have a good odor and some flowers have bad odors or bad smell. So insects like dragonfly, butterflies, and ladybugs go to the petals of the flower because it smells good. Again, these are the four important parts of a flower. First, stamens. This is the stamens of the flower. Number two, pistils. This is the pistil of the hibiscus flower. Number three, sepals. This is the sepal of the flower. And number four, petals. These are the petals of the flower. What is the color of the stamens? All right, so it is color yellow. How about the color of the pistils? It is color pink or sometimes color red. How about the sepals? They are color green. And the petals have different colors. There are different colors of hibiscus flower. We have red, pink, white, and sometimes yellow. This time, all you have to do is to answer the worksheet. Put an arrow and label the four important parts of a flower. And then you color the flower after answering it. You choose your answer from the table. We have pistils, stamens, sepals, and petals. You need to scan the QR code to download the worksheet. That's it for today. And once again, this is Teacher Michelle. Thank you for listening.